Here at Scott Legal, we know the ins and outs of immigration. We are here to help you with your green card process so you can live and work in the United States. Turn to us for all your immigration needs. This video explains the various waiver scenarios that could come up when applying for a green card. Is a potential green card beneficiary, present in the U.S., eligible to file for a green card from within the U.S.? The best way to understand the issue of where the beneficiary may apply for a green card, is to understand that the normal process under immigration law, to apply for a green card, is by commencing the process of applying for a green card, from the beneficiary's country of birth through the process known as consular processing. Therefore, the process of applying for the green card without leaving the United States, known as the adjustment of status process is typically considered an exception to the rule. What is the process like for a beneficiary who is present in the United States? If the beneficiary does not qualify to apply for the green card from within the United States, then we must first determine whether the beneficiary is in the United States legally or without legal status. If the beneficiary has legal status to be in the United States, then the beneficiary will have to leave the United States to avoid violating the beneficiary's temporary status, and to attend the medical exam, and subsequent interview with the consulate. If the beneficiary is without legal status, then the time present without status in the United States must be determined. If the beneficiary has been out of status for six months or more, but less than one year, then the beneficiary will be exposed to a bar, not being able to obtain an immigration benefit for a period of three years. If time out of status was for a year or more, then the bar is 10 years. In these cases it is necessary to determine whether the beneficiary qualifies for a waiver to the bar. This waiver depends on whether the beneficiary has a family member who is a spouse or parent who are either legal permanent residents, or citizens of the United States, to demonstrate the extreme hardship that the family member will likely endure, if the beneficiary is not approved for the immigrant visa. Keep in mind, that in most cases, if the beneficiary is in the United States with legal status and there is no impediment for filing for the green card immediately, the beneficiary may be eligible to apply for the green card within the United States through the adjustment of status process. You can view our video explaining the adjustment of status process by following the link below. What are the steps in the process, for a beneficiary who is present in the United States having to seek a waiver for the 3 or 10 year bar? If the beneficiary qualifies for a waiver, then the beneficiary may file the initial petition and waiver while present in the United States. After the initial petition is approved, then follows the application for the immigrant visa, which is the travel document that will allow the beneficiary to enter and live in the United States. Normally, a consular appointment is scheduled after the immigrant visa application is processed, but when applying for a waiver of one of the bars, the beneficiary will need to apply for the waiver with USCIS, filing form I-601-A, while in the U.S. before scheduling the consular interview. Once the waiver is approved then the consular appointment is requested, and the beneficiary leaves for his country in time to attend the medical examination and attend the consular appointment. If approved, the beneficiary will enter with the visa and wait for USCIS to mail the physical green card. Is it true that even with the approval of the waiver of the 3 or 10 year bar, there are times a beneficiary may have to apply for another waiver from outside the US? This scenario occurs when a beneficiary has committed another immigration or criminal law violation. Fortunately, many such violations can be waived by filing a waiver using Form I-601. However, keep in mind that when having to file such a waiver, the process in obtaining the immigrant visa will be delayed while USCIS processes the waiver application. This also means that the beneficiary will have to wait the processing period from outside the US. Keep in mind that there are criminal violations, such as many drug-related convictions that cannot be waived. There are also some immigration violations that cannot be waived, such as falsely claiming US citizenship. If there is no waiver available, and the violation cannot be cured through the passage of time, the beneficiary will be permanently barred. Finally, if the beneficiary is subject to the 3 or 10 year bar, a new waiver for the 3 or 10 year bar will need to be refiled even if the waiver for the bar was previously approved, if the beneficiary is required to file a waiver for another criminal or immigration violation. As you can see, the process can take different paths, so that's why we are here to help. You can contact us by calling 212-223-2964 or emailing us. We look forward to hearing from you. You can schedule your appointment by clicking on the link below to choose a date and time that is convenient for you.